and just add another layer and just call this butterfly and I already have the image as well for this uh, project so let me just drag it to the center of the stage let me just zoom in a little bit So now we want to do is just convert this to movie clip and we want to call this butterfly. Right. Double click to get into the movie. I want to just add another layer and call this uh, body. I want to lock the image. And we want to start uh, drawing the uh, make sure in the cycle or the body so let me just uh, make sure it's uh, the non stroke and the fill when you choose the same gradient color and just start dragging on the cycle move to it. And, uh, right about there and then when just uh, free transform that's the shortcut the Q is the shortcut to to free transform the object and also we're gonna just copy holding down alt and just just drag just a little bit and also we want to modify free transform flip horizontal and the same thing we want to just um, press the alt key to copy so I'm gonna just a little bit bigger and go modify free transform flip horizontal one more last one just move a little bit to the left move it smaller so here we got the uh, body once let's just select this and the same when they convert this to the movie clip I want to call this body double click into the movie clip body movie clip and I want to add uh, two more layers I want to call this wing no hold on right wing this one to call left wing just like the right and when just start working with the left wing so and like the body as well just rename this body and so go to the left wing and when choose the pan tool the shortcut is P the shortcut is P so then just start just drawing the uh, line stroke okay so once we have uh, just uh, hit um, the alt key to go back to the reference point so then you can just start start drawing you know a nice stroke shape Sam so just drag it release the mouse and just hit F I mean sorry the hit the alt key to get back to the registration point so I'll be back when I finish uh, the doing the left wing so just let me pause it so I'm back finishing the uh, left wing so now we have to do is just uh, select the uh, the whole uh, left wing and just control c to copy and when just like this unlock the left wing and just control shift v small v to paste in place and just uh, go modify transform flip horizontal and i'm just move to the right mm -hmm. now just um and also when just uh, F8 convert uh, symbol when I call this right 
and also we want to just uh, select this and on F8 to convert uh, movie clip I'm going to call this left and now we just um, do right clip and create a motion twin both of them so for default it's giving uh, 30 frames per second because the project is 30 frames per second so let me just stand to 40 now just go back to the first frame and now we're going to just go and choose the 3d rotation tool and just move on to the center the registration so let me just um go frame 10 and let me just move a little bit up start uh, animating the wings frame 20 Go back to the same position. Thirty and frame forty. Same thing with this, and just move to the center frame 10 20 frame 30 and frame 40 and also we want to stand the uh, body so F5 to stand the body and just go back to butterfly and here we got the image and here we got our butterfly so now we just trash it the uh, butterfly image and just uh, the same thing there's a movie clip make sure it's a movie clip and just uh, right click create motion twin also and just extend to frame 50 and go back to let me just uh, zoom out to 50 percent and let me just drag this out of stage and hold on make sure you are in the first frame and now you just drag to the out of stage go frame 50 just drag a little bit and and also we want to scale down so the free transform shortcut is the Q or we'll just go here and the free transform tool so let me just uh, holding down shift and just scale a little bit down also go back up to frame 30 and just move start start like animating the butterfly and also and then just scale down a little bit go frame 50 the same just move and scale down so now we're going to just start playing with the position of the butterfly so let me just go back to the uh, 3d rotation and just uh, drag the z position to the right there you go the same to the left let me see how it's looking no not good and even just the same you just just stop playing you know nice let me see let me see let me see let me see okay no so we want to add a, a layer i want to call this actions 
and go fifth, uh, frame 50 F7 to insert a black keyframe window action when just stop it so stop open parentheses close parentheses semicolon and close so now we'll go back to scene one and make sure we have the this is a percentage percent and just percent down underscore txt and also we want to just give a little bit the glow effect so let me choose the same color of the the stroke uh, i'm sorry gradient and go just high and increase the number to seven and also we want to change the color to like reddish and when just the font style to regular and let's we'll just make sure this uh has an instant name also one called preloader so we want to just uh, insert a blank frame at the first frame so on the second frame we want to just put a stop so let me just go window action call stop now I'll just go back to first frame so let me just uh, get the code I already have in here the code so let me just copy and back to the project window action paste and make sure everything is uh, right at this percent underscore txt and the preloader and make sure everything is the same preloader and percent percent underscore txt and see what else let me just test the move and see how it looks and go view simulate download and here we got our butterfly the stroke outline the gradient fill and the uh, percentage number but and here we have a couple things to modify so let me just close and select the percentage and let me just drop to the right scale up a little bit and also we want to move a little bit to the left now let's test the movie control and to test the movie and view simulate download mm, wow let me see let me see same let me just drag a little bit more to the right and see what's wrong with view uh, simulate download well here we go guys nice as i say the stroke outline butterfly animated the gradient fill and the percentage number hopefully you know gets 100 percent it jumps to the second frame where we have our image gallery that's all for today guys so i hope you enjoy and understand this tutorial and also um if you want to leave comments just visit my website and also will be available the project to download for cs5 and cs4 and action script 3 and just follow me on twitter or facebook the button link to twitter or facebook will be at uh, the website and uh, leave a comment so just follow me for or just get update for the latest post or tutorials also i'll be posting the photoshop tutorials and after effects and premiere as well some well why not find a couple that's i'm working hard to do a couple tutorials of any of uh, those applications and so that's all for today. Thanks so much. Enjoy.